Hey everyone, Shannon here. And Shannon, what are you doing here? I thought you were going to teach them how to clone in After Effects. I am. Well, let's get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects CC. Now, I've already created a new composition and imported my footage. So in order to create a new composition for you guys, just go to Composition, hit New Comp, type in the name you want, and then match your footage, the, the width and height of your footage. If you're shooting in HD like I did, it'd be 1920 by 1080 but if you still have a camera that shoots standard definition, please make your aspect ratio match that. And my duration is set for 10 seconds, and you can set your duration for however long you want. And we're going to hit OK. Now, I have already imported my footage, so a uh, production tip for your footage, please, if you're a beginner, set your camera on a tripod. Uh, this way, when you are in After Effects and doing this cloning effect, you don't have to mask out uh, as much or set keyframes for your footage so that the mask follows your, your character in, in the footage. So I have mine set on a tripod, so we're going to go ahead and I named my footage clone number one because this is uh, me sitting down and <laughs> that's a great, that's a great spot to, to stop on, but this is me sitting down and the second one we have, I'm going to just put it underneath and see how we can't see the second one? Well that is because these little eyes here, we can shut the top one off and now we see the second uh, clip here but this is the problem when we want to clone we can't see both so I'm just going to go ahead quick and trim up my clips so that they're at the spots where I want them to match and where I want my clones to interact so I'm gonna take a minute to do that and you can do the same as well okay so I have my footage matched up to the way I want it where my clones interact with one another so you see on the right side is clone number one and you see it's my second uh, clone so this is the problem we cannot see the second clone but we need this footage on top of one another so in order to see our clones we're going to grab our pen tool which is right up here and what we're going to do is usually when cloning uh, if you've ever seen back to the future usually they have a point of separation now what I mean by point of separation is when Biff and older Biff were in the car the windshield kind of separates the two clones so they uh, the the production crew would kind of work around uh, where the clones were and and the line of separation between them oh yeah sure right that's rich <laughs> you're gonna make me rich <laughs> so my line of separation is going to be this end of this chair right here. So I'm going to mask myself out. You don't want to mask out this side because it doesn't it doesn't show it's not going to show the clone, so I'll show you that. So even if I masked out this side, it would it would cut me out of out of the frame. So we don't want that. That's that's kind of a cool disappearing effect, but we don't want that. So I'm going to mask myself out, so I'm going to draw a straight line right down by the chair. It doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to connect my points to make a square and look at that look at how cool that is now there's some lighting issues with this but that's okay make sure when you're doing this uh, you you know in post-production how to fix your lighting or when you're doing this in production make sure your lighting is the same now I just did this quickly to show this effect in for the masking technique uh, but this is so cool so you can see like I don't even have a clone here but once I finish the mask I just pop right up so this is really really cool and you could see now I have two of me in the shot. So in order for this mask to integrate a little bit better, make it a little bit more natural looking, we can hit our first uh, clone, which is where our mask is, and hit MM on your keyboard. And it brings up the masking options. Now in here we can feather the mask and even expand the mask just so it looks a little bit more uh, integrated with with the footage and doesn't look so cut and dry and close. and you can even do this with three four as many as you want and it's really a really really cool technique and I was little and I saw back to the future I was like wow I really really want to do this effect it would make my videos so much cooler and I could do a lot with it now this is a very easy and simple effect to achieve in After Effects, but yeah, it's so sophisticated. And I mean that by people who don't have production or post-production skills, they see your videos and they say, how in the hell did you do that? So it's really sophisticated for them, and now you know the trick to it. It's really easy for you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial. 
Please feel free to visit the links below listed in the description to check out more of my work or to contact me, and stay tuned for more. Thanks!